Panini and the gang finally got in to see B.C., the big producer, and he told them what the big deal is all about. They are being sent to China to make a picture, but let's take a look and see if we can find out more about it, shall we? Hi, Bo Captain. Well, hi, Lee. What's new? Oh, brother, what a day I've had. Autograph hounds, autograph hounds. They're driving me nuts. You mean you say autograph hounds have been asking you for your autograph? No, I mean they haven't been asking me for my autograph. That's what's driving me nuts. Gosh. Hey, Uncle Captain, that same crowd is hanging around the television store. You, you want to go watch a television program? Because, you know, I kind of like it. Oh, I don't know. It's not like Waterville. Okay, come on. Say, fellas, uh, you mind if we tune in and hop along, Cassidy? Oh, oh great ahead, Get out of here. We're looking at Ina Ray Hutton. Oh. Say. <laughs> Okay, okay, not bad. What is it, Uncle Captain? Uh, nothing, nothing. Hmm, that's a really great. Hey, Uncle Captain, listen, we gotta go see the big producer, Mr. One Million B.C., come on. Okay, boy. Hey, wait a minute, look over there. What? Don't you see what I see? I'm on that newsstand. It's got my name. See my name on the headlines? Right in the headlines there, see it? Well, let's see. Come on, I'll show you. There, you see, plain as day. B.C. inks H.H. for picks in sticks. What does that mean, Uncle Captain? How do I know what it means? I only speak English. All I know is the H.H. means me, Rachel Huffenpuff. Oh, brother, a star is born. Well, <laughs> I gotta go find out more about my big deal. Uh, see you around, boy. Hi, boy. Howdy! Hey, when are we heading for China, boy? I'm all ready to go. Well, I don't know, Cease, but Uncle Captain just went to find out right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hot diggity dog. I'll be glad to get out of this place before I start turning Hollywood, you know. Yeah, well, listen, Cease. I want to go Hollywood. I am going uh, over. I am going over. Yes. And see, you know, Uncle Captain is coming out with a producer, one man in B.C. So, um, you want to come along, Cease? No, no thanks, doll. Why not? Well, I'm going to look around some more. I ain't never seen such funny sights in all the born days. Okay, Cease. See you later, boy. Yeah, it's Hollywood's quite a place. See you around, boy. <laughs> Hi, boy. How are you? Just fine, doll. The name is not Doll. Her maiden name is Cecil. Cecil, the C6 C servant. Oh, pardon me. Well, Cease, I, uh, <coughs> I've been doing some thinking. A lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. <coughs> Got a big deal for you. A big deal for me? Yeah. Where? I've had to be in pictures. Have your name up in lights? Drive a car with the steering wheel on the wrong side, wear chartreuse suede wedges, all the better things of life. All the better things. Me? Sure. Getting into pictures is no trick. You just gotta know how to do it. How do you think Spade Cooley got in pictures? Oh. Publicity? Yeah? Yeah, you mean the publicity man. A flatjack with the ank ank. I can make the name Cecil as well known as Hadakar. Or a percentage. <laughs> Is it a deal? Is it a deal? Huh? Deal? Well, a deal? Okay, yeah. I'm kind of anxious to find out what's on your point in the head. I'll go along with the gag. Good. Now you'll have to do everything I say. Remember, everything I say. Okay with me. Good. See that tall building up there? Way up there? Yeah. That's your office? No, not my office, but we're going to go up on the roof of that building. I got a publicity stunt that even Wormser hasn't thought of yet. Ah, it'll kill you. Just wait and see. Come on, up on the building. <sighs> wow. Never walked up so many steps in all the born days. Sure is a high house. Yep. 
It's the tallest building in Hollywood. Fifteen stories high. Look down there. And as honest John pulls a publicity stunt, he pulls a corker. This caper will make me famous. I'll be the envy of every slack flack in Hollywood. Yeah. Well, uh, <coughs> hey, Jay, I don't want to seem like the, you know, nosy type of sea serpent, but I got a question. Well, speak up. What do you want to ask? What is this stunt I'm supposed to do? I'll tell you it's colossal. It's stupendous. I figured out all over myself. I can see the headlines now. Cecil the C6 Sea Serpent jumps off the tallest building in Hollywood. Your name in every paper in the country. Yeah, I hope they spell cease right because. Jump? Jump off the tallest building in Hollywood? <sighs> no, wait just a darn minute there, Dad! Want publicity, don't you? Well, I'm giving it to you. The hard way. You'll be famous. Come on now. It's only take a minute. Jump. Jump. I don't know. Look way down there. So we can get hurt jumping the way up here. Look. Details. Details. How do you know you won't like it if you never tried it? Hmm? Don't knock it if you haven't tried it. Well. Go ahead. Jump. Well, I don't mind the jumping. It's the landing that bothers me. How about landing? Don't worry, you'll land, I guarantee it. Now jump, and go down slow. I gotta run down to the bottom and snap your picture when you hit the ground. Should I smile? Oh, shut up and jump. I'm a busy man. I've got to drop another client of an airplane at 6 o'clock. I better push this stupid oaf off before he gets smart. Here we go! Yeah, here goes nothing! Goodbye, Dad! Goodbye, doll! Don't forget about that. I get my 10%. Hot to go. 
I'm going to do a picture. See, <laughs> uh, what is it, Mr. One Million B.C., Western? Well, no, I want you to do a sensational stunt. I just thought up. Stunt? Yes. I want you to jump off that tall building again. Oh, what a scene. We'll do it in Technicolor. I've done it again. I'll be famous. Gosh. How do you like that? <coughs> jump off the building again. It ain't right. What the heck? Make the guy sore. Don't worry, she's sure you'll be all right. Yeah. Let's go. And listen, boys and girls, always play safe by not playing in the streets. Right you are, Beanie Boy. So long, folks. See ya. Bye. Hey, brothers, but it's again time for Beanie.